Hello there. Welcome to part two of my video series, USA Netflix on any device. Today I'm in Malaysia on vacation and I brought my Roku with me so I can watch some USA Netflix in my hotel room. And I thought this would be a good chance to do a video tutorial on how to set up a virtual VPN router using a Windows computer. Now today I'm gonna use ExpressVPN but uh, there are other VPN services that will work for Netflix on any device. You can check the link on your screen now and that will take you to my best VPN for Netflix page. And that's always updated to let you know which VPN services are currently working for Netflix. Now, if you prefer written instructions with some screenshots and the commands which you can cut and paste, you can uh, check this page on my website, which I'll put a link up to on the screen now. And uh, that will show you the written instructions, which is also including some instructions for a Mac. Okay, let's get started. So I need to connect to the internet before we start. And because I'm staying in a hotel, I will need to authenticate myself with the username and password. So I'm just gonna load up uh, a web page at uh, google.com and enter my username and password. And of course you don't need to do this if you're using your home network. Okay, got the authentication page up, accept the terms and conditions, enter my room number 1121 and enter the password which the reception gave to me when I checked in. Now I'm just going to load the netflix.com without a VPN make sure my internet is working and see what's on the Malaysian version of Netflix, which is not very much by the looks of it. Perhaps that explains why so many visitors of my website are from Malaysia. Okay, next step, I'm gonna press the Windows key plus R and then type in uh, ncpa.cpl. That will bring up my network connections, uh, network adapter settings. Another way you can do this is just click on the Wi-Fi there, open network and sharing center, and then change adapter settings. So however you choose to get this open, um, you're gonna see all of your network adapters here. Now we need to find which TAP adapter is used by the VPN. So what we're gonna do is connect to the VPN. In my case, I'm connecting to ExpressVPN. And while the VPN is connecting, let's take a look and see which adapter is being activated. And I can see that it is the network area connection four. It now says it attempting to authenticate. Now I'm going to confirm that the VPN is connected. Yes, it is connected. And the status now says unidentified network, which is normal. So everything is good. I'm gonna disconnect from the VPN now and keep in mind which adapter I'll be looking for later. Next step is to open an administrative command prompt. I'm gonna do that by going to all programs, accessories, command prompt, and then choose run as administrator. There's a few other ways you can do it. Now in the command prompt, type net sh wlan show drivers. And we wanna confirm that my driver supports something called a hosted network. Hosted network supported, yes. If you don't see that, you may need to update your driver. And if you do see it, then you can type in the next command, which is net sh wlan set hosted network mode equals allow ssid equals Netflix or whatever you want to call your Wi-Fi key equals, I'm just going to put eight eights so I can connect to it quickly on my Roku. So after typing that last command, you can see there's now a new network driver that wasn't there before. In my case, it's called wireless network connection three. You'll need to remember that. It should be the last one shown. Now the last command you'll need to type is net sh wlan start hosted network. And you'll need to type this every time you restart your computer. So that is done and we can see that the adapter is now active. Now go back to the uh, adapter we identified before that the VPN is using. Right click properties sharing, choose allow other network users to connect through this computer's connection and then choose the new adapter which is in my case wireless network connection 3 and press OK. So now the virtual Wi-Fi is getting its internet connection through the VPN. 
The last step, of course, is to connect to the VPN. And then once the VPN is connected, any devices which connect to this new virtual Wi-Fi network I made with the Wi-Fi name of Netflix will have their traffic routed through the VPN. Okay, now we're going to connect to the new virtual Wi-Fi network on my Roku and see how it works. Of course, you can do this on any device. It doesn't have to be a Roku. Uh, sorry for the weird angle of my TV here. I couldn't really find a good place to set up my camera, so I had to do it on a ledge that's uh, not right in front of the TV. So I chose the network Netflix, and I'm going to put the 88s, which is the password. If you're staying at the G Hotel in Kuala Lumpur on October 5th or October 6th, and uh, you're near room 1121, then feel free to connect to my network and uh, watch some Netflix. Well, I doubt anybody will do that, but that would be funny if somebody did. Okay, it looks like we're connected. Now let's uh, start Netflix and see how it's working. Yep, I can see that the shows which were not available on the Malaysian Netflix are now available. And I'll just try one more show, make sure that it's uh, working properly. The future. All oh. we have to convince Dunder and Mifflin to go back in time, <laughs> fix their parents. <laughs> Could we get a DeLorean? Jaws. They okay, thank you for watching part two. Um, stay tuned for part three coming soon. Now remember this will work for any device, not only a Roku. And if you want the written instructions, uh, check the link which I'm going to put on the screen again. And that uh, maybe is a little bit easier to go through. It'll show you the screenshots and you can cut and paste those commands which I entered in the administrative command prompt. And of course make sure you're using a VPN that supports Netflix on all devices. I'll put the link up again to check a list of such VPNs.